Peace YouTube. This is Sean Young, also known as Supreme, with another episode of Adventures in Wholesaling. And on this episode, guys, we're going to be talking a little bit about building out your team and uh, when is a good time to do that and, and how do you actually go about doing that. And guys, I, I kind of touched on this a little bit in the past um, when I was referring to when should when is a good time to hire a virtual assistant or a VA. <clears throat> and guys, you don't want to make any hires um, until you reach the point to where you can't actually do that job anymore or where you feel like that job has outgrown your position or it's not worth your time. Of course, you got to do whatever you have to do until you build that team. But you have to be wise and you have to think about it. You have to say, you know, if, if I were to do this continuously every day and I, and I try to scale this business, how much of this activity could I possibly do before I burn myself out, number one, or before it's just something that you know, you're not doing properly because you're doing too many different activities. And like they say, you're you're um, a jack of all trades, but a master of none. And when you're getting started, guys, that's how it is. You wear a lot of hats in your business, but you have to quickly learn how to start delegating. You have to quickly learn how to start getting out of your own way. And, um, you know, the best ways to do that is to figure out, you know, how, how does your work day look? How many hours a day are you spending working on your craft or, or your business? Once you get that determined, you got to figure out everything else. All right, what well, what other things do I have to do in life? Family activities, you know, whatever it is. If you have a, a job still, whatever the, your your day looks like, you have to map that out, and then you have to start carving that day out and being disciplined about about how you carve that out. And what I mean by that is you have to make time. You have to allot time to do particular things. So if you want to do callbacks, let's say uh, you've determined that callbacks are best to do between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. So between that three hour block, that's all you're going to be doing is, is making calls. Now, let's say that you've determined that you do your, your best marketing on, on Facebook between one and five. So now you're going to go ahead and start marketing between one and five. All right. Now that you've I've given you an example of making some cold calling and doing some marketing, Let's say you had to add on another um, another component to that, which would be driving for dollars or doing some research. My, my point, guys, is that you see the tasks can start to mount. So what you don't want to happen is you don't want to start slowing down because of these tasks. You want to you want your your business or your operation to keep moving forward um, in spite of you, even without you. And the only way that that can happen is if you hire or put the right people in place to um to make that to make that a reality for you to actually get the job done to execute your game plan and guys it's not as hard as um you know some people may might try to project it or, or make it seem you know start off with with a part-time hire you don't, you don't have to dive right in with a you know a full-time hire uh you know where you're 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 bringing them on as an employee paying taxes on them paying employee taxes on them excuse me employee taxes um you know paying payroll um you know, get, get setting them up for health benefits. You know, all the, those things are great when you're at that level. Uh, but if you're not at that level, you know, bring on some folks part time, get them ramped up, get them trained up, then maybe convert them into full time employees when it makes sense for you to do so, to do so from a business standpoint, not just from an emotional standpoint or from a, um, a lazy standpoint, so to speak. Even when you're making these hires, guys, remember, you are not hiring people because you just don't want to do it. That, yeah, I mean, that's great, but there's too many people that I, I know that I've coached even uh, who have, you know, a bunch of money and they throw a bunch of money at, at the uh, business, um, but they don't put any effort or, or actually any energy into the execution or making sure that things get executed properly. And that will, will cripple your business every time, guys. So money is not always the solution. Money is a tool and it's a component to help you find success when you have your business, you know, once you're operating at that level and capacity that you, you should be. So, guys, I don't want to make this video too long, but I did want to make sure that I touched on, you know, hiring people and, you know, when is a good time to do that? And a lot of people um, have asked me. So I figured, hey, let me go ahead and revisit that because we are in a, a different time period. We're in a time period where a lot of people are working from home. Um, most people, if not all people are working from home, you, you've got children doing school from home. So our world has somewhat changed and, uh, you know, people who are smart are changing with that. 
and they're learning how to keep up with the changing of the times, whether that's learning how to work from home, learning how to do things from home. Um, you're learning how to hire other people to, to work for you from home, you know, getting those folks trained up, whatever it is that that's moving you towards being prepared for our future. That's what you should be doing. And guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Uh, but make sure you like this video, subscribe this video, send this to a friend, family members, um, hit that thumbs up button, leave me comments if you have questions. And if you guys are looking for coaching, you know, um, please don't hesitate to go to my, my website, www.adventuresinwholesaling.com and uh, check out my, my courses there. I have a couple of different um, tiers and, and platforms that you can choose from, uh, but I am here to help guys. I even offer consultation calls if coaching is not if you're not ready for coaching just yet and you just want to have some consult, you know, have a call or, or two, uh, 30 minutes or an hour call, you know, just to kind of see where your head is at, to see how, you know, where my head is at, to see if this industry is something for you. Please reach out and give me that call. Well, with that being said, guys, this is Sean Young, also known as Supreme, with another episode of Adventures in Wholesaling. Help me help you help us all. Peace. With this crown on my head, I'm seated on the throne. The top is so alone. Only thing that keeps me gone is I know my city love me. I know my city love me. I know my city love me. I know my city love me.